Hello and welcome back to the fourth and final uh, part <laughs> of uh, the Hamster Cage for April 28th, 2015. Uh, we started off strong with City Connection, one of my favorite games, uh, and did pretty well at it too. Um, then went into Exerion and then had a lot of fun playing Butasan, which... Uh, is kind of the the breakout hit for me uh, for the uh, these ar arcade archive games on PS4. Um, but now we're moving into Mr. Goemon. I was talking about Game Room earlier, and um, uh, Mr. Goemon was one of the games that was in Game Room, as you can see, uh, put out by Konami. Konami was uh, uh, hitting Game Room hard toward the middle of it there. There were a lot of Konami games in Game Room, and uh, I got a pretty pretty good, uh, definitely my fair share of them. <laughs> and uh, um, I was always looking for people to play like Game Room with, like competitively, like our scores and everything. And I met a lot of people that way, uh, but none of my like real life friends got into it, which was kind of too bad because you know, they're who introduced me to it. So I kind of thought that they would get into it, but they didn't. But anyway, Mr. Goemon was one of the games on that. So I can't really play this game without thinking of Game Room because it's kind of like synonymous uh, with Game Room to me because I hadn't played it before Game Room. So this is kind of like where it was introduced to me. But it's a it's a really fun game. Uh, I know a couple of a couple of secrets or tricks to it. If you knock, like, the, the moon out of the, the... The moon is actually the timer. Like, it's the stage timer. Uh, for bonus points. I, I, nothing happens if, if it gets to the end. But um, you can knock the moon out of the sky uh, for, like, more bo bonus points or something. There's a couple places too where if you hit with your uh, hit with your pipe, ah, you get bonus points. A place like this, that's not it, but a place like that. There it is. It's a very hectic game, as you can probably see. Definitely tests your twitch reflexes. What's that smoking in a kid's game? You guys need to lay off, seriously. Be able to hit the. There you go. Hit the moon. Boss fight coming up. You can mostly ignore this guy. Mostly, I mean. You kind of have to. It's really hard to beat him. You can do it, but it's it's not really worth it. So this uh, Goemon guy is actually based on a real life dude, kind of uh, Japan's Robin Hood, as you can probably uh, surmise from the end animation there, where he's throwing money all over the place. Ah! That is what I'm talking about right here. Barrel these fools. You seriously need to lay off. I want that hammer. Thank you. It's invincibility here. Rack up a lot of points this way. So 
sometimes when you jump into the uh, the money boxes at the end, you end up getting more points as well. Don't really know. Like I don't know all the ins and outs of this game, but I know a lot of them. Push that. Barrel down. boss fight. Mm. Trying to get through ah, as quickly as possible. Uh, jumping on the bird should be okay. You can jump on everything else. Yeah. This game does start getting hard. One thing that was cool about uh, Game Room, and I kind of wish this had it, was save stating. I wish you could save state. God, I want to make some linear progress here, but they're making it impossible. wish you could save state on the uh, Arcade Archive games. That would be really cool. Mm. You guys are stressing me out, man. Stressing me out. Mm. Yeah, it does start getting pretty hectic, man, I'll tell you. Should have went down. Set it up. Didn't do that great. I usually do better than that. I think I'm getting used to the controls again. I think that's the problem. Just joining the stream. Thanks for checking out Normal Game Couch. Playing Mr. Goemon as part of the Hamster Cage. I get those bonus points from the moon once it gets a little closer to our position. That'll probably do. Here we go. At this point, I'm basically just trying to get through the level. Here we go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
game doesn't waste any time getting hectic, I'll tell you that much. There we go. Not bad. Almost botched that one. Got a good lot of them. I'm trying to hit the moon, but bad timing here. Now I'm just trying to survive these guys. Their birds are rough. Came through that unscathed. Wow, that was pretty good. Doing a lot better than uh, than I did last time. That's for sure. Now things start getting like crazy hard. I wish invincibility would last a little bit longer, man. It does not seem like it lasts very long. God, lay off! You guys seriously need to lay off? Projectiles coming. Seriously, lay off. It's a little too hectic out here, man. Ah, Tengu! is too dangerous, man. Look at that! Look at that! Ugh. I just wanted to get past him. Oh my god. Contrary to popular belief, Ninja actually did wear bright colors a lot. Um, I got a friend that won't watch Naruto because he wears orange. Oh. 
get that barrel. Help me out, barrel. To get extra bonus points for the fruit on my head. Oh, jeez, it started. Oh my god, I was like, I was like somewhere else mentally. I don't even know what happened. That's eh, all right. We wouldn't have lasted much longer anyway. <laughs> wow, so that's the that's my highest highest score yet. That's good. Normal game. I guess that means I get to upload this new score, right? Yes, it does. Awesome. All right, let's... Uh, I don't think we can... Nope. Where is it? Is it this one? Uh, let's see if I'm on here. And this is the top 100. I just got 70-something thousand. There's my old score. Uh, I think it does take a, a little while to update, though. So, probably, um, if I check it later, it'll be, like, up here or wherever. But, uh, number 44, not bad. Not bad, man. Go another round in this real quick. if it's the third one or the second one, but I guess I'll remember now. There's a lot of little Easter eggs like that in this game. I only know a fraction of them. <laughs> But at least I know some of them, you know. It's like the moon thing here. The music in this game is really good. I just want to get past this guy. I don't care necessarily about fighting him. Okay, good. Um, people may remember a, a game called uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja. That was a spin-off of this, so same kind of thing. Robin Hood type character based on a real guy as it happens. I uh, jumped right down onto that guy's knife. barrel out. Mm. You lay off for two seconds. the character design in this game. I like, like the misshapen heads everybody has. It's a very odd looking game.
words. I think I'm having another pretty good run, actually. I've been streaming normal game cast long enough to know, though, that you don't say things like that. You don't say I'm having a pretty good run, because then you die. I want to hit that barrel. It's so effective. Choked me out, man. Choked me out. Everybody's so bouncy in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit the moon, but I came up to it too early. There it is. again. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call that the stream. Thanks for watching Normal Game Couch. Thanks for watching The Hamster Cage for April 28th, 2015. If you missed any of the previous games, they will be on YouTube later, or you can check out the VODs before they expire on my channel. Uh, I've been your host, Payton. Thanks for watching Normal Game Couch. See you next time.